It has been six months since a jury acquitted David Wilson. He is the man who shot and killed Midland Police Officer Nathan Heidelberg just over three years ago. You'll remember Heidelberg responded to Wilson's home in the middle of the night after an alarm tripped on his property. Wilson mistaked the officer for an intruder and shot him. Wilson was charged with manslaughter. Then just weeks before the trial was set to begin, he was reindicted for murder by a grand jury. Now a jury ultimately found him not guilty of murder, but the story does not end there. Wilson and his team have their sights set on the case prosecutor, District Attorney Laura Nodolph. They say she not only mishandled the case, but broke the law doing so. They have filed the petition this afternoon to get her removed from office. Jonathan Pulasic has been pouring through those documents all evening. Jonathan, what does Wilson and his legal team claim? Hey Tatum, so this petition right here, it's quite a hefty petition. And again, if you'll recall, again, Nodoff was also the prosecuting attorney in this case. But according to Frank Sellers, one of Wilson's attorneys and another attorney, they have, quote, discovered facts indicating that Laura Nodoff is not worthy to continue as district attorney because she is not following the law. Now, if you take a look at the Texas local government code, an officer may be removed for incompetency and official misconduct, both allegations that Wilson's team have wagered against Nodoff. Their petition lists out several laws that Nodoff may have broken that would warrant her removal from her position. They lay out three instances where Nodoff abused her position. The first involves Nodoff participating in at least one illegal search of Wilson's home after his arrest. According to this petition and supported by the testimony provided, Nodoff entered and searched Wilson's home without a warrant. They include what appear to be surveillance videos with date and time stamps showing a woman they say is Nodoff with other investigators inside Wilson's home. The next involves participating in a police interrogation before an arrest warrant has been issued. And the last claim is that Nodoff lied to the grand jury, particularly on the issue of whether or not there was a contract between Wilson and the alarm company that determined whether or not police would be sent without Wilson's permission if the alarm was tripped. No contract ever existed, but Nodoff presented to the grand jury documents claiming to be that contract. So in summation, there are the actions that Sellers and Wilson believe qualify as incompetency, official misconduct, or both, which are illegal search, testifying as an unsworn witness before the grand jury, lying to the grand jury about a contract that doesn't exist, lying about the acoustics of Wilson's home, abuse of official capacity, and official oppression. Now, Wilson has also requested a trial by jury so that the matters can be resolved quickly. And while that plays out, they also request that Nodoff be removed from office temporarily until the situation is fully resolved. Now, we have reached out to no Laura Nodoff for comment, but we had been told that she had not seen the petition and therefore did not have a comment for us at, at this time. Tatum.